Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Building Up. Today's episode is all about online education and we will be looking into BTC University. If you don't know BTC University, it is behind the chairs website that features classes about balayage and blondes, hair cutting, hair color, and styling. The class today that I'm gonna be featuring is by Patricia Nicole, also known as Painted Hair on Instagram. If you don't follow her on Instagram, I would suggest you go over there right now and follow her because her painted hair technique is amazing. So needless to say, the second that I saw that on there, that she had put a class out there, I was like, okay, I'm on that. So if you like her work or if you like the demo, you know, that I do based on what she puts out there, then I would suggest going to BTC University and clicking on creating dimension with pant weight. I can't even say that, hold on. Creating dimension with painted panels. That's what it is. All right. Creating dimension with painted panels for 20 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it, it's juicy. It's 20 bucks, you can't beat it. So I would suggest hitting that up. All right, let's paint. So the first thing I wanted to um, go over and want you to notice is my sectioning pattern. My sectioning pattern is actually not the same as the way Patricia Nicole did it in her video. And I realized that a little bit too late, I was looking at the stills wrong, because in the video it's still images, not an actual video, and I was looking at it wrong. Um, and I'm going to show you why that was such a huge mistake in um, trying to create dimension with painted panels, because it didn't really create that much dimension because I did the sectioning wrong. So you gotta watch the video and check out her sectioning because that's so huge. Um, but I like the way she uses um, the cotton to separate the sections. It just really helps it from bleeding and just keeps everything clean. Now, something that I would have done different than I did on this model, on my model, on my on my um, doll head, is I didn't, I don't think I saturated it enough. So when you put on your lightener, I feel like the more you saturate it, the lighter it gets and in this one I don't feel like I saturated it that much I'm gonna definitely change that up next time now I personally like to use um, these paint brushes I get these paint brushes at the dollar store and they last me a while but I like them because I think that they work really well with the clay based lightener I feel like I'm able to back brush and blur the line really well and the bristles are soft enough so that I don't have to worry about bleeding through that first layer of hair which brings me to my, which brings me to my lightener I like to use uh, freestyle lift by alpha parf I love the consistency and the lightness that I get from it I never have to worry about the hair getting that over process feeling because it has what they call a double bond reconstruction complex so there's no need to add a separate bonding system um, I found that with this lightener, it's best to mix according to manufacturer's directions. I mean, they did all the guesswork for you, so it just makes it simpler. Plus, I know what to expect every single time I apply. For example, if my lightener's too thin and I back brush at the root, I'm gonna get some nasty hot spots. So that's a good that's a good way to avoid that. So here's the uh, processing stage. I like the way it looks when it processes. It looks dope. Um, all right, cool. So let's go check out the uh, final look. Okay, so let's go back and touch on sectioning. If I would have done my sectioning like Patricia Nicole's sectioning, it would have turned out more like this. Okay, so here's mine. Patricia's. Now don't get me wrong, I like it, but I like it better when I could create more depth instead of making it just so one-dimensional. So I took what I learned and I applied it to a couple clients that I had afterwards. So here's an example of adding dimension to a brunette. I left just enough room to give the blonde enough room to breathe and create enough pop. Even though she's not a light blonde, you can still, her blonde looks brighter with that brown next to it. 
Here's an example of a client that was previously blonde. With her, I added deeper panels to give her more dimension, which in turn also makes that blonde pop as well. So both these techniques I learned in that video, painting dimension with painted panels at BTC University. She does one where they're going lighter and one where she's adding low to make the existing color brighter. So if you like those, um, if you like any of the stuff that we did here, then head over to BTC University and check it out. Creating dimension with painted panels. All right, I hope you learned something. I did. See you in the next video.